high levels of indoor mold are known to cause a variety of health issues. When people have a home tested for mold, there are a number of different types of tests and sampling methods that can be employed. One of these is the Environmental Relative Moldiness Index, more commonly referred to as ERMI. Researchers from the Environmental Protection Agency developed the ERMI test method. It is a DNA-based analysis known as mold-specific quantitative PCR that detects and quantifies various species of mold. The test provides a standardized and rapid method that identifies the mold burden of a dust sample collected from a home. Carpet dust in a home often acts as a reservoir for mold that has settled over time. The test looks for a combination of 36 molds from two groups. One group is considered to be species associated with water damaged environments and the other considered to be found in homes independent of water damage. The results of the test are then compared to a national database that describes the mold burden of a home with a single numeric number. This number typically ranges from negative 10 to 20 and it is then grouped into one of four levels. The lowest level, ERMI level 1, represents the least mold burden and thus the home is less likely to have a mold problem. Each subsequent level indicates a higher mold burden from the sample taken in the home. Level 4 represents the highest level and indicates the greatest likelihood for having a mold problem. This technology has been licensed by firms that provide this test commercially. As with all test methods, they each have their pros and cons. There are many factors involved with a typical mold investigation in a home, but the ERMI test can be a useful tool for evaluating the potential risk of indoor mold growth. These are just a few things to know about mold testing in the ERMI test. To learn more about this or other microbial, indoor air quality, health and safety, occupational, or environmental issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.